So what do you do about TikTok? I understand because I'm currently on a, I guess it's like a dopamine detox kind of thing a little bit, which is hard for me because, you know, if you're not new, you have ADHD. Um, but with TikTok, for example, I use TikTok for work. So what I actually ended up doing is I limited the amount of time that I spend on the app. I limited the amount of videos that I watch on here. I limited YouTube and I just more so unplugged from personal social media, um, Facebook, Snapchat, like things like that. And really just try to fill my time with other things. And sometimes I fill my time with music and podcasts. That's not ideal either. I know that. But I'm trying to make it more like, I guess, educational content. Because this, like to me personally, this detox isn't even so much about doing like a detox in general. It's more about what am I filling my brain? What am I filling my subconscious with? I don't want it to be, you know, continuous, mindless, just dumb nonsense pretty much. And I've noticed that, you know, I can fall really easily into doom scrolling and then lose hours and hours when I don't even mean to. So it's just about finding something that basically gets you up and gets you going and filling your brain with good things at the same time. If you don't want to listen to music, you don't want to listen to podcasts, you don't want to, you know, replace it with anything, start manifesting, start affirming things. Literally tell yourself, how do you want your life to be? You know, like you could literally affirm like, my life is amazing. My life is exactly how I want it to be. There's nothing I need to change, right? There's nothing I need to change because everything is already perfect and the universe will bring that to you while you're still doing stuff. Like one of the affirmations that I, for example, have is that everything is amazing and that I am perfect exactly the way I am, but I am still improving myself every day, but for my own approval only because I'm someone who grew up in a place where I had to do, you know, basically anything and everything for people's approval and I still didn't get it, which made me feel like no matter what I did, it wasn't good enough anyway. So, and that, you know, leads to overcompensating. And if you feel like you're overcompensating and nothing is good enough anyway, most of the time you don't even start trying. And even if you are trying, it's not giving you what you're looking for. And so social media is a really quick and easy way to get that dopamine hit, getting a like or just even just scrolling in general, seeing people who you can relate to. But the problem with this is if you are seeing other people struggle, it's great to relate to that. But I just came to a point where I realized I don't want to relate to that anymore. I don't want to keep struggling. I don't want to keep living like this and waking up every day and seeing the videos of the girls who are like, I'm so excited to wake up today. And then you see the stitch and they're literally screaming to the camera like, why? How? Like, I hate my life. Yeah, I get that. But that's not how I want to live because I'm here and I might as well make the most out of it. Especially if you know you are like the creator of your own reality. You're in control. You're, you know, the person who manifests this. I just didn't want to manifest that for myself anymore. And unplugging from social media was the first step. And I noticed that the longer I am away from that, the more anxiety it gives me thinking about going back because I realized how much if like of my brain was consumed by what was going on, what were other people doing, what were people saying, were people saying something like it just consumed me all around being like, you know, it's almost like trying to it's like this meme of, you know, I don't want any drama. And I like, you know, I remove myself from the drama, but I'm interested in listening to that. I don't want to waste my time like that. I don't want to spend my time like that. So unplugging and just doing things that make you feel good away from other people, which again, social media is the easiest way to connect to other people, is a really good place to start rewiring your brain into a more peaceful place. And the longer you do it, the easier it will get. Like there will come a point where you don't even miss it as much anymore. You don't want to be on there as much anymore. It will get easier over time. It's literally like stopping an addiction, which I am actually going to make a YouTube video about this um, because if you are manifesting in your basically trying to ignore your reality, that is like stopping an addiction. It's really hard, but there are things you can do to, in order to get there. What is it that you would like to take on that could help you replace, you know, TikTok, for example? I mean, I can give you some examples of things that I've been doing. I've been renovating my house. I've been decluttering my house. I've been detoxifying my house. I've started baking. I'm cooking more, reading, I'm writing again. And it, like literally just doing the most, you know, like nonsense down to earth, just basic, simple things that might seem boring at first, but that's only because our brain is so used to this, you know, instant gratification of scrolling and stuff. I remember when I was little, I would spend hours and hours and hours reading books and even just rearranging my furniture. I found this Bible the other day um, and I've been meaning to do Bible study, but I made like all these tabs and I spent hours just making it more beautiful because my brain likes to do things, you know, a little bit easier when they're beautiful. 
And I knew I had this thing, but I was like, I know it's somewhere and I I lost it for like two years. I didn't even know where exactly it was. And by just cleaning out one of my drawers, I actually ended up finding it. And it was such a, it's just such a nice moment to think about the fact that I spent hours just focusing on that and doing that. It just gave me a lot of dopamine that normally, like I said, I would get from doom scrolling. So try and find something that really makes you feel good about yourself. Maybe even make a list of things that you used to do that you really enjoyed that could really replace TikTok. Um, Because again, whether you're consciously manifesting or not, TikTok is a horrible place a lot of the time. I love TikTok to death. I mean, it's my main platform. But the brain rot that happens when you're doom scrolling and you're taking in all of these other people's opinions that are being, you know, reflected in your subconscious in your everyday life is really not that good for you a lot of times. A lot of the content is mindless. It's nonsense. Again, like you should see my FYP. It's a hot mess. So I'm not saying that outside from me. But if you like once you realize that what you consume is what your brain is pushing out to you in your reality, you realize that maybe my life isn't so great right now because I'm literally consuming content that confirms to me over and over again that my life isn't great, that I'm not doing well, which is very, very unhelpful when you are trying to get out of that. So even reading a book um, that you're choosing, right? Even if it's just a fantasy book, but you're choosing something a little bit more positive or a little bit more uplifting. And it doesn't even have to be positive or uplifting necessarily. Like I like my horror books. I like you know, my dark, like the darker books. I really like romance books, for example. Um, It's still better because you can still decipher what you're taking in because you know it's fiction and you know it's fantasy than seeing a real person on here talking about things that even if you don't intend to, you might make you feel bad. And then your brain's like, hey, but maybe we need this information. Let's store it. And then it's going to push it out to you at some point where you're like, what the hell and how the hell did that just happen? But it happened. And then you have to work against that. So I would definitely recommend no matter which platform you use the most to, if you can't unplug fully, take a huge step back, focus on yourself, stop looking at what other people are doing, because that is literally how you, you can't build your, like basically every time you consume content, you're allowing somebody else to build your life for you outside of your control when you are in full control. And why would you ever give control away and let somebody else dictate what you're doing with your life? When you have the ability to literally just turn off your phone and affirm or visualize or script or just even just do anything other than consume negative content and build the life that you want and that you deserve, by the way.